What's up guys welcome back again to the Windows 10 mobile tips and this is not a review video already on 16th of the match I posted that uh, Microsoft may roll out Windows 10 mobile build uh, 0.164 on 17th yes it's rolled out so my thought was correct and expectation too a lot of people said tweeted me I answered them correctly everybody and they are a lot of disappointing too and first in terms of me uh, us who are tech reviewers who are doing all the builds and OS reviews the last one year uh, we see only a couple of the phones, uh, not all Lumia phones got the, this new update, getting this update right now. So, and also for the users who are watching this uh, preview videos of mine who subscribe to me, who are watching a lot of other phones and they are hoping to get the update bills. But Microsoft has surely disappointed them. So, we can't do anything, it's a business, it's Microsoft strategy that we cannot do anything guys. So, we can just hold and wait or we can switch to some other phones if you don't want to stick to your Lumia phones. All right. So in this video, I'm going to guys talk everything about in case your device is eligible. So what are the minimum requirements you can have that and how you update it? Just precautions, all steps and needed. So uh, I've already posted everything this time on my app. You can check that and download this name is cell phone uh, in case you don't want to miss that. So everything is written out there. I just posted this now right now. So you can go to the Windows and mobile section here. And there's a page called this news and updates where I was to post all the Windows and mobile builds. So already have posted everything updates which are coming which are not coming so you can see this is just now I posted it is Windows 10 mobile uh, update minimum requirement so I'm going to cover all the stories that you have and that you can get so condition number one as you can see the devices must be among the following eligible devices for current update program sorry type error so the Lumia 520, 930, 640, 640XL, 730, 735, 830, 532, 535, 540 635, 636, 638 and this Nokia 630 if you don't know is a LTE version uh, of the 635 and it's very nice phone you can get that it's very fast with 1 gigs of RAM and 635 has two version uh, one is right now I have here this one uh, with a 512 MB RAM and they're talking about this 1 gigs of RAM phone and the Lumia 430, Lumia 435 so mostly you can see uh, if you uh, cut down this 635, 636, 638 so all the phones are uh, for the Microsoft leadership phones, they got released when they under the Microsoft. Even exactly, I can say 65 too is in, in, under the Microsoft control when the, these devices were released. So probably they were talking about more. And for the rest of the phones like the Lumia 1020, 920, 925, Icon. 1320 already I have made a request to give April and Windows Insider and the Lumia help so hopefully they can if they reply I will let you know guys soon via my app or my Twitter you can see I already posted to this any hope for 920 icon 1020 in future uh, hopefully I will get a reply by today and so Stay tuned on my Twitter account, I will let you guys know. Now the condition number two if you have these devices or uh, if your phone is under these conditions so uh, go and check that uh, you need to go to the uh, Windows Phone 8.1 settings and about you need to check that the OS version that is there so your OS version should be uh, 8.10.14219.37 that it is update 1 GDR1 you can call it that and all the phones above uh, mostly like 640XL and all uh, they are released with update 2 so they don't need to worry about that so you need to go to the settings and about and check that and also the devices that are not mentioned here there's no need to uh, lose the hope and uh, hopefully hopefully in the future there's the same that is done for windows phone 8.1 when they are getting the windows phone 8 when they are getting windows phone 8.1 updates so it came in the batches and also it depends on you know uh, your device manufacturer device model your country region mobile operator and service provider hardware limitations so many factors are there uh, that can decide when you can get the updates all right so after you will check that update, uh, this uh, 10.10.8.10.14219.341, you can go and see uh, whether your phone is eligible or not. So in case any update is there, uh, in case you have not on GDR1, you will get uh, the download update. You, it will show you guys exactly a Windows Phone 8.1 update is available and you need to first update the device. And after you finish updating, the condition number three, uh, Microsoft has saying that uh, there is an update app called Update Advisor and they are forcefully advertising it but uh, let me know you guys, I am trying for yesterday night, uh, it's uh, search in the store, uh, I didn't get that, I, actually, I can show you guys exactly what is the reason, uh, not reason exactly, uh, they say uh, this app is not available for the download, you cannot get that app, uh, that's nonsense, I don't know why Microsoft is doing that, uh, so you can go to the upgrade advisor i guess this is the spelling if the microsoft says that so there's no such app and uh, even though i go to microsoft website and 
and some of the popular you know uh, windows related websites they also mentioned the uh, download location i also use try to their qr code and it's not working hopefully it's lending to the same page so anyway this app is not needed and let me tell you guys this app is actually just just uh, verifying whether your phone uh, the, you have these kinds of phone and so the whether for your location this update is available or not so you can do the same by go to, going to the settings and phone update this no, the same step either you will check via app or you can check via go directly go to settings and update you can also just verify some of the internal storage it cleans some temporary file that you can go to that you can do normally by going to settings storage and clean the temporary files here it's not needed and uh, it some of the mandatory steps are there i will let you know guys in the coming video at the end of the video the download link is mentioned below in case your phone is updated you can check that and the condition number four uh, this is very disappointing guys uh, i'm sorry to say that and the microsoft says uh, let me tell you exactly uh, what microsoft is saying i have this uh, image here this image says uh, it is from uh, windows insiders Uh, this is we do we do not have plans to post Windows 10 mobile on devices with 5.10 VRAM. I will put that image here. You can read that actually. I just missed to add here. So let me add it here first. So now you can see I've already added that image here. You can check and read that. This is official screenshot that I have taken from Windows Insider. Uh, this is a. Uh, we do not have plans to put Windows 10 Mobile WTM and W10M sorry on devices with 512MB RAM. So these covers for devices like 520 and 625, which is also a lot of popular first 4G phone of the low-end category. So these things are there, and we already covered all the conditions, right? And yes, one more steps, one more point is here. Uh, I got report that so many people start updating first and using that and they may get 10.5.0.107 build as I said here and on the first update no need to bother uh, you either you can reboot phone if possible because it's windows stuff you, need, you should do and again go in settings and this time you will get the windows and mobile update and all you need to do uh, there's things are changed you can come to the settings here and you need to go uh, update in security and phone update in this way you can check that so check for updates and this way you can get the new build uh, it, it may take some time or may not be available that time so don't bother you will get that now the coming the important instructions that we have here so uh, I, I've told this already in a lot of previous uh, videos and this is the same stuff guys uh, uh, just uh, like the insider builds that you're updating so things will be same so uh, first point is here make at least 2 gigs of internal if possible make 2.5 gigs of memory uh, that's why I said it's suggested to make at least 2.5 gigs of storage and get your phone fully charged and prefer to plug in uh, during update and uh, move as much data to SD card also uh, if any games are there if you like that game and uh, if they are in the device memory don't try to move the SD card the idea is to make 2.5 gigs of space and uh, because if you move the game to SD card, uh, I don't know, no games is working, you need to re-download this all because that's why I ended up downloading Asphalt 8 a lot of times, I mean from past 3 to 4 months, uh, I downloaded more than dozens of times and each time it takes 1.8 gigs of storage, you can assume how much uh, GBs I have wasted just to update for this games and all, just to guys give you demos, it's okay, no problem with that. And try not to move uh, apps to SD card as I said and after that remove the SD card or let it be there, no problem on that. So this is simple steps guys, uh, if you follow these things, uh, you can get the update. And also uh, everything I have covered, you can watch the dot uh, one six four demo already there. You can I will put the link in the show notes. You can check that. And dot one zero seven, you can follow me on any of the links and Twitter channels. And uh, uh, requesting to follow my Twitter because I used to put a lot of stuff immediately on the Twitter and uh, YouTube comments. I take some time to reply. And so stay tuned, guys. That's it. Uh, all the steps and point that you need to know. And uh, don't lose your hope. Maybe after some days. We may get for other Lumias, for example, 1020 and all these uh, might be running very fine. I said in a lot of demos, you can see that it's still Microsoft. I think it's not meeting minimum requirements. So uh, if you have any concerns and queries, uh, tweet me, uh, follow me on the hashtag GI support or add GI support. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video. And if I help you guys, if I deserve thumbs up, do give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos and stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day ahead. Happy updating Windows 10 Mobile.